Check them out. Freshly shaved. Look at that. Fucking lean, man. Fucking lean. So, just got back in. Even in ride vlog, this is. Bit of hoolie of a wind going. Never quite blowing where I want it, though. The majority of the time. South East easterly most nights. Um, it's a bit of a head pain. It's coming down the main road. It was all right on sections, but you, know, you just kind of like turn a bit and you kind of, you got that. It's almost like a, a side, a side to sort of headwind thing going on, you know? You've got a bit of a percentage of a tailwind going on as well, if that makes sense. It's weird. It's not like full on on the side of you, but anyway, weird experience. But we've done all right. We had a good ride. The grit in that they've done on some sections of the road is kind of like the cars have done their job and like chucked it away to the side a bit, but there's still some patches around. I don't know why they take so long to come out and, um, uh, and road sweep it, you know, suck it all up. Um, because I noticed they had done on a side street, if you will, call it a side street in my local town. And that was... That was at least a week ago now, actually, and it hadn't been laid too long. But out on the main road, if you're local, if you're watching this, if you know me, on the A38, it's uh, it's been quite a while now since they've put that surface down. At least for almost a week, I think. Um, and with a bit of warm weather today, uh, it's kind of uh, flattened down. It's ready, ready for uh, the road sweeper now, I think. But... It's just when it's freshly laid, I don't like it. I mean, it's kind of a bit bumpy after a while, you know. But, uh, you know, what you need on that, you do need, like, a few days of or one good solid storm on it. Some, like, a bit of water and some hot days. And, again, let the lorries and the traffic kind of, like, uh, um, smooth it down a bit, roller it down. Um, it's probably going to take... I can't remember if they'd done that road, the A38, last year. I don't know. You know, I know they do the gritting thing every year. Some roads do get done every year, but I'm not sure if that one was done. Because thing is, on some roads, they put they've started doing some. I should really have a look in the highway code and like read um read up on what some of the actual road markings are because down that particular section of road, from the pub to like the roundabout, I don't think it's quite to the roundabout actually. I'll have a look next time I go when they re redo it or something. Sorry, gooey cyclist nose. <laughs> That's alright, wash me kit in a minute. There's like a white line and it's like, it's barely a metre out from the curb. But I'm not exactly what that's supposed to mean. Good idea to have those everywhere though and have little cycling symbols in really. In my opinion anyway. So yeah, not a bad night's ride. It's cooling off a bit. Um, so I went out just with the shorts on. I put my, um, got my like leggings tucked up. I've mentioned this before. Don't like stuff your jerseys. Well, you can do what you want, can you? You can stuff your dirt jersey pockets full of beer, beer if you want. But um, a good storage place for like gilets, something light. Although I have stuffed a winter jacket up there before. When you've got your cycling jersey on and you've got your pockets on the back, right? Your three pocket pockets, like most jerseys have. Feel around the top of those pockets on your back, and then, like, if you've got bib shorts, if you wear bib shorts, so they're not, I know not everyone does wear bib shorts, you fucking weirdos. Um, then that's where you can store stuff, where the straps grow over your shoulders down the back, and you've got that, that section. That's a really good storage pouch. Like, um, it doesn't matter if it makes you look like a humpback, but you like, you fold it up sort of semi flat, so it's barely noticeable, but we're not going for like looks it's like what st extra places you can store stuff while cycling you know so that's where i got my leggings not not uncomfortable at all and uh you know i didn't bother using them although it's cooling off now but it was quite a quick ride i just had a little quick ride and uh quite enjoyed it actually it's good fun riding with a tailwind it really is and you know because it is a tailwind you can still you can still work too hard if that makes sense, depending on how far you're going. But you know, if you're point to point, 15, 20k or something, you want to have a smash, it's good fun. Um, and usually if I am going to do that, usually if I just go for a ride, I'm not really concerned too much what the wind's doing, you know. But if I'm going to go for a little smash, just for a bit of fun, 
Uh, I'll take a look. There's a windsock at the seafront where I live and uh, it gives you pretty much a spot on idea actually which way the wind's going because you can always rely on trees and stuff you know because trees are kind of bending and going all over the place so if you want a solid reference like look at a flag or like a windsock or something I might actually put one in the garden that'd be a good idea big cycling windsock or something but yeah it's interesting uh carved the fuck up when i went out today which is good man i've been eating pretty clean today which is really good i've been uh been chomping into my box of boxes of bananas my dates had um two smoothies today well that's a lie i had some banana and ice cream like this morning slash lunch lunch time and then i had this like green smoothie like romaine lettuce couple of dates and I don't know seven or eight bananas or something and I've saved some I had like a pint of that before I went out about an hour before I went out and then I've saved some for tomorrow for breakfast and then in a minute I'm just going to do whatever salad or something sandwiches with some hummus or whatever so yeah I'm feeling good on that and that's just on two days because um you know I do slack sometimes and I just roll with that you know I've always had like uh that sort of thing you know it's not like weakness or anything i just don't be hard on myself but looking you know looking back man the steps i've made is absolutely amazing f for me from where i've come from you know so if i can do it you can too but it's how much you want it you know um like i know i could get within a year i could probably lean out pretty pretty heavy pretty heavy but um we'll see i'll just roll in with um what i'm doing at the moment you know again say I'm not being hard on myself and or because you are eating even super cleaner than I am now it doesn't mean that that's being hard on yourself at all no way man because the abundance of food out there even people like fruitarian man I reckon that's pretty cool like Ted Carr and stuff um that is good man I would I would like to sort of edge perhaps more towards that way I know it's I know it's not it's not totally impossible you can as how much you want it you know like there's so many different sorts of fruit you can eat you know if you're not like in the tropics and getting fresh like ripe nice ripe mangoes and papayas and kiwis dragon fruit or whatever you can still do it like bananas and dates and apples and oranges peaches pears um not strictly totally raw is it but if tin fruit gets you by uh juices lightly pasteurized juices and stuff just do the best you can with that, you know. Um, but it, it depends how bad you want stuff. Like I've, I've got some some dates and bananas from a friend yesterday, and it's not always easy to get to be able to get up there and get those. So I just supermarket, do the best I can with that, you know. Uh, yeah, it's not a problem. Just want to share that. Good ride tonight. It was nearly uh nearly took out by some guy in an Audi. What is, what is it with the, these blokes and these like posh cars in the evening? Like they're off to take their women out, aren't they, you know? Got that like, full on slip back hair. Probably stink of fucking links or something, you know? Anyway, I let him knew what's up. I just like, you know, I'll give him, give him the vegan power eyeball, like, you know? Fucking wankers, these people.